I myself am threatened with uh, the removal of my right to travel outside of the country. In other words, my passport might be confiscated were I to make a television program in Britain for RT. Now, I have no problem with the British state deciding uh, that nobody in Britain can watch me on RT. That's a matter for them and for the British people that should be taking them to account. But hasn't it come to something? When a figure like me, almost 30 years a member of the British Parliament, I think most people would agree a prominent voice in British politics for many years, a man who not even one year ago polled 22% of the vote in a parliamentary by-election. Someone like me, the leader of a registered British political party, the Workers' Party of Britain, a man whose work has appeared everywhere from the Sunday Times to the Spectator, to the New Statesman, to the Guardian, all over the place. Over decades, you have been able to see what it is that I have to say. But if you are seeing me on Twitter right now, you are seeing me with a falsely applied label just underneath my name, which seeks to discredit anything that I have to say and which comes accompanied by a shadow ban, making it extraordinarily unlikely that unless you go looking for my tweets that you will ever see them again. My lawyers, KRW Law, human rights lawyers in Ireland, have written to the world headquarters of Twitter in Dublin, warning them that if they do not remove this false label from me in seven days, seven working days, which is up tomorrow, then a legal action against Twitter to force them to do so and to secure damages for the harm that has been done by the false application of this label will ensue.